Hello, my name is Nick Palmer, company name Real Ideas and I'm the inventor of a number of fishing products but we're here today to show you the spring release pole support and the number of versatile setups for match anglers, pleasure anglers. There's the clever claw, upward pressure keeps it in place, lower the pole or the rod handle and the clever claw releases instantly. When you're using a pole on a rest like this you don't keep releasing the claw until you've hit the bite. So you can lift with your hands, you can lift the pole up in the air, you can put it back down again. If you've missed the bite, don't disengage the claw. This time I lift into the bite, the elastic comes out, I lean down with my hand and put the pole back. But a shorter bit of pole you need to shorten the pivot point. I had the claw further back just now for longer pole or off the back leg, but short piece of pole shorten the pivot point to keep the upward pressure so the claw will stay engaged. So there we are, the claw set to the right height. Now I'm going to spin that big wheel that I call the hand wheel fully to the stop, not halfway or the claw won't operate properly. There, that's fully back to the stop. That claw now is ready to release. All of a sudden the pole swings round I've hooked into a fish, just lean down with my arm, the claw's released and back goes the pole. I'm now going to show you the clipping on technique we use when fishing on long pole. You can either use your right hand to turn the claw to engage it or your left hand, it's your preference. Just set the claw up so that the pole's a couple of inches to the side so that the claw will go onto the pole easily. So I'm going to shift the pole out to the full 16 metres, turn the claw, engage it and just let the pole come up. Now those teeth are firmly locked together until I want to release the claw. All I've got to do is lean down on the pole butt. There, and the claw's released. You can hold the pole down with your right arm, reach across with your left hand, turn, squeeze the claw together and just let the pole come up. There you are, you're totally hands-free. That's a full 16 metres of pole out there now. No weight on my back or my arm. I've got my hands totally free. I could be flicking bait out with a catapult to strike. I can just lift my heel, which lifts the tip of the pole. Drop back in again, flick some more bait out. This time I lift into a bite. The elastic comes out to release the claw. Just lean down. There you are, you've got the pole back. And here's one of the two rod setups that I use with the Mark II Clever Claw. You've got a short bracket coming off the front leg and a bit longer bracket with one of these method feeder rests on here to stop the rod pulling round. Ideal for method feeder fishing where you're going to get the ferocious take. I'm just going to flick that to the other side of the river. Put the rod on the rest, turn the claw, push it forward, it engages and all that's holding that now is the upward pressure of the rod handle because the reel and the rod are both in front of the wrist. That's holding on till I give a flick of the wrist. As soon as I give the flick of the wrist, the claw's released and I'm into the fish. And here's another rod use for the Mark II Clever Claw. It's a setup for when you want to get the rod tip high to keep the line out of the water on a flowing river. Ideal for chub, for hitting those little tap bites cast out the other side of the river. Again the reel goes top side of the rest, turn the claw, push it together and all that's holding that now is the upward pressure again of the handle. A quick flick of the wrist, the claw releases and I'm into the fish.